Okay, we're at Gold Star. We're going to show these double cap snaps. These are interesting snaps in the fact that they have the nice button side on both sides of the snap. So there's no, um, it, it looks real finished. We're going to use three presses, two of the heavy duty and one of the super heavy duty. Many makers often have multiple presses so that they don't have to change dies. They can just go from one machine to the next when they're doing a project. So now we're going to do some webbing and we're going to start with punching the hole. So again, I had set up the uh, three millimeter die cutter here. I'm going to do some neon color webbing to make a hole. Real good for dog collar applications. Yes. I'm going to do both ends. All right. So I made my holes three millimeter. I'm going to get rid of the, this one. And this is, there is two sides. You have two caps here for double sided garments or dog leash and stuff. So you have a smaller cap, which is 12.5 millimeter or half an inch that drops in right in the smaller die. Mm -hmm. it, it has to sit in there flush. And with that goes the other side of this. And it, that one goes right on top. And a lot of people think that they have to put this in there and then punch it. No, everything goes on and claps on. And you go ahead and you make, put that through the hole and Wow, that one didn't work. So I'm gonna make another one right here. Get it off the top one, probably there's a problem. Now don't it. get frustrated when it doesn't work for you. You just have to keep practicing. And when you do this every day, you'll get to where you can do it with your eyes closed. Yeah, make sure when you put it in there, don't rush. Maybe that's what I did. You have to make sure that this is straight, that the post right here goes exactly through what we need to go through. This is what we want. Beautiful, right in the center. Absolutely. So this is the back of the cap and this is the front. So what you do, you just get rid of this. Wow, well, already. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make another hole right here. Let me just cut that. And then we're gonna cut the end. I'm gonna make another hole for the other side. And now I'm gonna use the super heavy duty one. You don't have to use the super heavy duty one. I'm just showing it off. I'm putting the other side, clamp down, put it through the, the hole one more time and come down. Beautiful, right in the center. You see how beautiful it's done? And this is the back. So, this is how it has to be, both. And then you could use this, obviously I didn't, you could use this for putting it through the dog leash. and using an open and close. I had to put it first and then. Yeah, but it's one of the things that we all make that same mistake, even professionals who own their own shops, is doing the uh, the more fun work. Double cap, ring snap. This is line 24, which is 15 millimeter, half an inch. But you can do that on the other side. I could do that on the other side, yes. So you put the one side of the snap on first, then you put the buckle on, and then you put the other side of the snap on, trapping the buckle in between the two snaps. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna just do it without a hole. I'm not gonna make no holes. Oh, you're gonna be all... I'm gonna try to make it time without... Time-saving then. Yes, I'm gonna make it without a hole. Oh, you gotta make the hole. Now you know on some of these items, you gotta make the hole. It's too... Uh, okay, it's cut. Just put it through this. Yeah. Okay, so you put one side of the snap on, put the buckle on. Put the buckle on, 
and then we're gonna go ahead and use the other one for the cap. Put, put it through the hole. And look at that, it's finished on both sides. You can't tell that, you know, there's an, a right side or a wrong side. That double cap, ring snap 24 millimeter, 15 millimeter. Okay, that's for today.